In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Ignite Gallery for Joomla 4. So here is a gallery created with Ignite Gallery, and we're going to see how to work with galleries in Ignite Gallery. So having logged in, go to Components and Ignite Gallery, and we'll start off with Profiles. So uh, when I've set it up, I will always create a profile, and if you don't have one, you'll have to create one. But by default, on the websites I work on, there'll be one there already. Click on the, the profile and you'll get a whole number of options that relate to how images are displayed. I won't go through those options here, but you need to have a profile set up in order to be able to begin adding images into Ignite Gallery. Now let's head over to Categories and categories determine where photos are displayed so click new to add a new category uh, by default uh, I have set a gallery called photo gallery to be the parent gallery which means that any new categories I create will be underneath or appear under photo gallery so I'll call this one test uh, you don't have to add a description, but you can if you want to. You can choose to have a, a picture to represent the image, the, uh, the gallery. And then you save and close. So now we've created our first category and it's a subcategory of photo gallery. And now let's manage images. So here we can uh, either drag and drop from our file browser, like this, or we can browse and add pictures this way. Click Start Upload and the pictures will upload for you. Once the pictures are added, you don't really have to do any more, but you can edit their description if you want and add a nice description to each image. Click Save and Next to go to the next one. And Save and Next to go to the next one. And Save and Close. Now let's go to the website to have a look. I'll refresh the page. And here is our test category. I click on test and we get to see the pictures that are in test and here is the description that I added for each picture. Going back to the list of images, you can rotate the images and you can also publish or unpublish them, in other words make them visible or not. So. Um, that's basically an introduction to managing images in Ignite Gallery and, uh, and adding more images as you need. So I hope this helps introduce to you the system.